Hi guys, welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Sky. I'm a 22 year old digital nomad currently traveling the world with my boyfriend. So if you like anything related to travel, if you want to know how to make money and travel, if you want to know about nomad lifestyle, or you're just like me and want to be a bit nosy and see what I'm up to, then hit that subscribe button. Let's get into it. So I'm just going to rewind back to January this year. Life was so beautiful. There was no situation going on and things are just a little bit, you know, more free. My boyfriend and I actually lived in Nottingham in the UK and we were both working for ourselves. I had a beauty and aesthetic business working from home and he owns a writing company online. So we both had it pretty cushy there. And in January, we were just sat there one day talking about travel and we just realized that the only reason we were in Nottingham was for me, because my business was there. It kind of spurred me to make the decision that I wanted to travel the world and find a job that would allow me to do so. Fast forward a couple of months, obviously the whole situation happened and it gave me a lot more free time. So of course, I put that free time to good use and started researching how to make money online, how to work and travel, how to make money and travel the world. After a few days uh, looking into it, I found a company called Palfish, which are an online teaching company that people can apply to teach Chinese students online. You can go and watch the video on how I became a Powerfish teacher, the steps that I took to get there, if you're interested in doing it too. Fast forward to October. Now, 10 months later, I have absolutely grafted my ass off. Like, I've been working three jobs. So I had my beauty business, I had Powerfish teaching English, and I also work for my boyfriend. He's gonna absolutely love that, I've just said that. So yeah, which leads me to where I'm at now. We have had the most amazing past two weeks ever. We basically sold everything we own in the apartment, packed a 20 kg bag. Yes, my life is in a 20 kg bag. Got a one way flight to the sunny south of Portugal, where we are now. So we're in a place called Praia de Rocha in Portimao and I have nothing but good things to say about this place. It is beautiful. There's beautiful beaches, there's constantly like beautiful scenery, there's loads to do. The whole situation's a lot more relaxed from what it seems in my opinion. I'm so glad we did it. My whole like mental well-being has just improved so much and I'm able to do that because basically work online making money. So why Portugal? So we actually decided that when we pre-COVID, we would like to have gone to Southeast Asia, um, but unfortunately, given the circumstances, we couldn't do so. And we heard nothing but good things about Portugal. And we'd never been before, so we thought, well, why not give it a try? And we also said that because last year we went traveling around the Philippines, we booked everything, we planned flights, we've planned trips, and we kind of just realized that doing it like free flow, no plans is sort of like the best approach to take, which is what we've decided to do this time. Having that like freedom and ability to just choose what we want to do, where we want to go, is kind of refreshing given the obviously circumstances at the minute so yes we decided to come to portugal and it's obviously stop number one at the minute um but we'd love to travel the whole of portugal are there any covid requirements so if you come into portugal for a holiday actually i'm really excited because this weekend my mum and sisters are coming to visit it was her birthday last week and unfortunately i couldn't be there um, but I actually paid for her to come over here and stay with us and explore a little bit of Portugal. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, the only requirement is that because obviously they're from the UK, they've got to quarantine when they get back for two weeks. Getting here, 
there's no requirements really. You've got to fill out a passenger locator form before you come, which is literally just name, where you're staying, how long you're staying for, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But the whole situation over here, like I said before, um, they seem a lot more relaxed over here. Obviously, I am in Portimao, not Lisbon, so we're not in a main city. I think up in Lisbon, it's a little bit different. Um, bars and things shut a bit earlier, um, but down here, bars are open till 1 a.m. Um, everything seems quite cool. Obviously, there's less tourism, but we're still having a good time. We've met some good people. One thing I would say is that the whole mask rule, they are a bit more strict with it here. Um, when you go into shops and bars and restaurants, you have to wear your mask to go through, to walk through until you get to your table. Also sanitizing the hands. Charlie got pulled up a few times on this. He wears his mask here and they will ask you to pull it over your nose, um, especially in the supermarkets. Overall, I would say the whole situation here is a lot, it's quite chilled. So of course, we've got so many good travel plans coming up, so many nice trips. So if you wanna keep updated on what we're up to, like I said before, hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video. Ciao.